Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is the Phil that plays, and today we are going back to a One Piece OP04 meta tier video that I did. And now that the set's been out for a couple weeks, and we've seen more results, we've seen decks, you know, that are doing well in the meta, decks that aren't, I wanted to go back and kind of redo this uh, list here. So there are some changes I want to make because surprisingly there are decks here that are doing decently well and i want to talk about it so first and foremost before we get into the video if you haven't already hit that subscribe button hit that like button we are on our way to 500 subs and i'm hoping to get to 500 by the end of the year so any any and all support you could give that would be great it takes a second i really would appreciate it so back to the video now um we're going to change a couple things here now, of course, first and foremost, these these are not in any particular order. Like, you know, oh, in meta, like, I don't think Crocodile is the best deck in the whole format. These are just decks that I'm putting in the top tier. Um, so, I think what I want to do is change... Let's see. Mm, what do I want to change first? So... In the meta winners, this is the category that I picked of what decks you're more than likely going to see topping events. And right now, I think I have to move Crocodile to semi-meta. And I'm just going to put him right here. So Crocodile is, I think, really, really good in this format. Uh, specifically against Red. And specifically against every other deck that isn't yellow. <laughs> um, because yellow is unfortunately blue's worst matchup. And as much as I want to put Croc in top tier, he just hasn't been putting up the numbers as much as I would like him to, especially with the, how many people are playing yellow. And unfortunately, as long as there's a huge amount of yellow players in these big tournaments, blue's always gonna get shot in the foot because red, it does really well into yellow, but blue does really well into red. Not always a guaranteed win, but you know, they you make them work for it. But yellow absolutely stomps blue. It is so hard to win blue against yellow. It's like 30 to 70 percent chance 30 30 percent win, 70 percent loss. So I think I have to change croc, put him in the semi meta tier. He's great if there were not. As many yellow players, he would be doing way better. Uh, Katakuri, I, I gotta keep him in here, even though there has not been a lot of Katakuri winners in these big tournaments. The fact that its presence there deters so many other decks from doing as well. Because, good lord in heaven, Katakuri is such a... It's a, it's a busted deck for a lot of reasons. One, being able to swing 7k for one dawn being able to look at your opponents and your, or sorry, or your life, and then adjust them uh, to the bottom or top, which helps you kind of plan for future attacks uh, in the, in the uh, future of the game, you know, the end game. You have amazing triggers that stop attacks, play blockers, play a bodies that can attack for lethal. You have the 10-drop Big Mom that basically you play one, it's that's rough. Play two to three in a row, you automatically win. Um... The deck is still really, really good. It feels like, but to me personally, it takes a lot less, a lot less strategy and competency to win with yellow. But yellow does unfortunately fall to red, but it decimates a lot of other colors. So that's why I'm gonna keep him in meta. Uh, Law, we're keeping Law in there because Law is just absolutely insane. It's crazy how this deck still is topping, even though it's literally been it has not gotten any support in the last two sets. Uh, Rebecca, Rebecca is really cool. It's the, the whole Luffy combo, being able to swing double, uh, double strike, or sorry, double attack twice into other bodies too to clear board is insane. It is the red killer, but as long as yellow and blue are around, it's not going to do as well. So 
that's it's still really competitive into most other decks except red and sorry instead uh, uh it's really good into other decks except blue and yellow i want to say it, i want to keep it here just because of the fact that there are certain cards that just cannot be destroyed in this deck um kairos being able to having having to get rid of kairos three times in order for him to actually leave the board is absolutely insane the luffy uh like i said being able to double swing uh, twice uh with gum gum king kong uh king kong gun or whatever it is uh so many great cards in this set that like <sighs> yeah i gotta keep it it's gonna go to the bottom though uh white beard white beard be white bearded I still think Whitebeard's the best deck in the format. I think it needs to be addressed in some way. But, of course, people can't decide on what it should be because you don't want to nerf it to the point where it is unplayable. But you also want... You can't just leave it as is. It's still great. It has too big of hand. Too many rush bodies. The defenses are insane. The attack is insane. It's just... It's the best deck. Zoro. Zoro be good. I don't think Zoro's ever going to be bad. But... I think right now he's not as good as he used to be, but he's still really good. Into blue matchups and any any deck that can control board, he's not going to be that great, but I still think because he is... He, he's still one of the best leaders in the game, hands down. Um, all right, so we're just going to... I think these are going to be our top tier decks. Uh, then we have the semi-meta. Dofi, I think, is great for where it's at. The deck is really, really good, but if you brick, you brick hard. And that is just unfortunate. Um, I think Big Mom... I think Yellow uh, yellow Big Mom Pirates leader is going to be really, really good regardless. So I think Semi-Meta is a good place for it. Um, Actually, mm, yeah, it's just the fact that you have access to all the same cards that Katakuri does. It's just not going to be as offensive it's gonna be more of a defensive option then we have queen i think queen is absolutely busted let's just move him on up to the top here uh queen is so good it's it has the annoying like amazing triggers of yellow but the removal of blue and i cannot tell you how many times that like i've lost to this deck and i just can't figure out a way around it you know like it, they're close games but like the longer the game goes on the longer queen can work its magic and eventually survive. Kaido, I love the new uh, Animal Kingdom Pirate support. I think it works uh, really well, and it can work really well into things like Whitebeard and possibly Katakuri. I think he's a great option for semi-meta. But yeah, I think he's uh, he's good. I think he's good where he is. The whole, like, losing... Like, whole, like, four life leader instead of five really hurts it. But I think he's really good up here. Yamano, I'm probably going to put her down a tier. It's just... I love her ability to be more defensive. But you're always having to use one Dawn. Uh, you're always going to have to account for one Dawn. Um, you can't use the 10 drop Big Mom. Which is unfortunate. Which is Yellow's best card. Yeah, you have the 9 drop Yamato, which is really cool. But... It just it hasn't been putting up the numbers, so I think for now she's better off just in competitive tier. Now, I am gonna move Blue Doflamingo up to semi meta because I think he is fantastic. I don't think he's as good as Croc, but I think he's better into the yellow matchup than Croc is. Because yellow doesn't like wide boards. Not a lot of decks like wide boards, but yellow in particular doesn't do great with wide boards. So you swing 7k, you're putting a body on board. Your opponent has to either decide to go after your life or go after your board. You defend your board, you can actually, you know, put pressure onto uh, Katakuri players. Especially if they don't see a 10 drop until it's way too late to play it. Um, but I, I really think it's a great it's a great deck. It has all the same blue removal. It doesn't recur the events like Croc can do with Missile Sunday, but overall, I still think it is a good deck. Um, if I were to put... I, I'd probably put it like this. There we go. Wait. Mm, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that's fine. All right. Uh, Arlong, I think I'll keep it there. I think it's really neat. Uh, Land of Wano Arlong is kind of, is kind of fun. Uh... Yellow purple croc, same thing. I think he is really solid. Uh, he's deceptively good. 
Uh, a lot of the great, a lot of great purple stuff, a lot of great yellow stuff. It just anything with yellow, I think, is going to be good. Isho, I'm gonna put him down into locals because he's his number. I I think he has a really cool ability, some really neat cards, but like he hasn't really been showing the numbers, and my buddy's been trying to play him, and it just hasn't been working out. Um, I think he's decent for locals though. Uh, kid, yeah, let's put him up here. I think he is still great. Any, any leader that can swing a possibly 12k twice a turn is insane. Kinemon. Kinemon still be Kinemon. Green didn't get any new support for Orlando Wano, but I didn't lose anything. So I still think it's a good leader. Uh, you know, mm, no, I, no, I still think it's up there. Red Luffy, it's okay. Red Luffy's okay. Um, it's, it's red. So red's going to have really amazing cards. So why not keep it there? I do think Magellan is still really, really good. It's deceptively powerful, especially if you can get multiple... Uh, um, uh, if you can get multiples, multiple of your Magellans on play... Oh, man, you can control board against Katakuri and Whitebeard. But against a law, you're kind of SOL. Nami. Nami's really good if you can know how to play it. But unfortunately, not enough people know how to play her properly. And it loses to aggro. That's unfortunate. Smoker. He's fine. I think black in general. He's still the best black leader. If we don't count Rebecca as a pure black leader. Uh, we're, oh, we're putting Ace up here. I think Ace... Surprisingly, he's doing really well this format. Even though people kind of wrote him off, I think he is really solid in this meta. Um, still access to all the red cards, and because of that, he's going to be really, really good. And just being able to trash so many events, um, he has access to. He is more. He's more likely to have access to Fire Fist, Flame Emperor, all that stuff. He can clear boards really easily. Um. Black, yellow, big mom. Yeah, that's fine. Ivankov. Yeah, I actually played against another Ivankov player, and they phew, surprised me with how good that deck is still to this day, just with the new blue stuff. Sanji. Yeah. Kuro. I'm going to put Kuro up top, probably above Yamada. I'll put up above Smoker. Uh, Kuro's still dangerous. I mean, he can clear boards really well, um, and a good Kuro player can really surprise you. Black Luffy, yeah. I'm going to throw him in competitive rogue. Actually, you know what? Put him above Smoker. The deck is surprisingly good. Um, people have actually been playing with it more and seeing more uh, top 32, top 16s, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly. I played against it a couple times. It's surprisingly good. The ability being not once per turn is really good. Uh, yeah, it's a surprisingly okay deck. Um, let's see here. Odin. No, we're putting him in locals. He's still okay in the locals. Not great. Not bad. Rob Lucci. Probably put him a little higher. Um, Vivi. I will put Vivi actually on top of locals. I think Vivi is really fun. I don't know how amazing, like, compare and like, she's not putting up numbers, but like in a competitive, like a locals competitive, I've been messing with Vivi too. And the amount of draws you can get off the leader, the amount of, like, just, like, really cool combos you can do. Play a five, uh, for seven Dawn, play a five drop. Uh, tap, tap two, draw a card, give it rush, boom. Set, uh, on the nine Dawn turn, play a seven drop, draw a card, give that character rush. There's great seven costs that can be played. I uh, like the blue Doflamingo, blue King, uh, hell, the red Luffy with Banish, the 9k, uh, that came out in this last set. Give that rush. It, and draw a card. It's really neat. Uh, blue, you have access to great blue cards, the blue removal, you have access to great red cards. I think it's a fun deck. I hope to maybe see it rise up a bit, but I think for now, under locals, I think that's fine. Actually, you know what? We're moving... <laughs> We're moving Yamato down to locals. I don't think she's actually in the competitive rogue tier anymore. Uh, and then, of course, we have But Why. S Shanks, unfortunately, is going to stay there. King putting king up there king's been putting up numbers surprisingly um uh, maybe put him down here 
he's been putting up numbers and there's been a couple like local like 64 people tournaments that have had, that he's been doing really well in surprisingly i don't understand how he's doing that well but he's but he has access to a lot of the great purple stuff uh kaido i'm gonna move up to locals here as well same thing he just good purple stuff the dot deck uh, but i think i'm gonna put him at the bottom blurple kaido blurple croc i think yeah let's put him under locals blue and purple stuff that's all i gotta say a lot of great events that can be played now um, that, that gets his ability off um beyond that i think that's it i think that is a proper updated list um at least from all my experience and everything i've played in my locals and on the sim and seeing tournaments i think this is now a more accurate list now of course some of the positions of these car characters on the list can change like you know maybe move luffy up two spaces or move magellan down a uh, space like you know maybe maybe that can be changed and it can be up for interpretation but i think this is solid for now but hey let me know what you think in the comments down below uh, what is the best deck in the format? Let me know. Um, and what is your favorite deck that you've been playing? I've been playing a crap ton of blue, croc, and dofi, trying to prepare for a regionals next month. So uh, wish me luck on that. But hey, guys, uh, remember to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you on the next episode. Take care. Here's how the story goes, we find out by the treasure in the grand line, there's no doubt. The pirate whose eye is on it, he'll sing, I'll be king of the pirates, I'm gonna be king. Dago, 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 oh, oh. His name is Luffy, that's Monkey D. Luffy. Gonna be king of the pirates.